Two to one Toronto as we head to the fifth inning on our Audi scoreboard and joining us uh, once again and kind enough to join us manager Aaron Boone. Aaron thanks for being with us. <laughs> Still knows where the camera is. Eh? <laughs> How are you guys? Yeah, We're doing well. Um, what did you think of the adding of uh, Garrett Cole today? He looked pretty good. Yeah, I thought he was really good. And actually, and, and the good thing is I thought he continued to get better and, and even finished um, even better. So encouraging to see the stuff and, and, and obviously building him up a little bit. I think he got up in the mid-50s this time pitch count-wise. So so on track and, and – uh, you know, we'll we'll break down the outing a little bit later, but I felt like uh, all in all, he threw the ball really well. Yeah, he's, I think he showed off more of his weapons. Today yeah, too. he did. He the, he broke he broke out some of the good stuff. Well, I tell you, early in the game, a pitch I saw he throws that little two seamer, but he doesn't lose velocity at 97 on some of the lefties and just locked them up. Didn't even know he had that pitch, and then later in the game, overpowering up in the strike zone with the four seam. Yeah, I thought I thought the Blue Jays did a pretty good job of laying off some pitches up. Um, early in the outing but he, he stuck with it it's obviously such a poor pitch but yeah he just shows you so many weapons that he has uh in, in many different ways of, of of attacking and getting different guys out well jordan montgomery and uh you know he's in position to help the yankees this year coming back from the tommy johnson pitch a little bit last year and you mentioned that should help him coming into this year yeah, I thought it was important for his kind of mindset to, to get back the way he did last year, work so hard to get back and, and to get in some games there in September. I think was good for him mentally going into the winter. And, uh, you know, he was able to really work out well. And, and you know, was, he's in a good place, like body-wise. I think he's physically came in very sound um, ahead of the game a little bit. Um, and, and it's shown, you know, we've – the. The, the results have been there you know he's he's pitched really well he's thrown the ball really well and and we've seen that little uptick in, in the fastball for the most part which I think is obviously going to serve him well now I don't know if Aaron or you or Paul have ever had a surgery where you had to come back from it as we see call strike three on McKinney and it's a mindset that you can you can still play I always thought it. I mean, the last hurdle was in your mind that all right, this is gone, and mm -hmm. it takes a while, and it takes getting back out on the field and competing at, the, at this level. There's no question, and, and you, to be able to, you know, I, I'll relate it to my the first time I tore my ACL, the first of two was mm -hmm. um, when I was with the Reds, and you know, in spring training, I wasn't sure if I was quite ready to go, and, and just kind of getting out there and realizing you can trust it, it it's like oh okay uh, i'm good to go and you kind of hit, hit the ground running from there when you when you when your body shows you you're capable of maybe doing a little more than you, you think and uh and i think that that's a little bit what happened for monty at the end of last season that pitch misses low to uh, randall Gr grichick now aaron uh gary sanchez uh -huh. uh, I, I think I read where you said he was scheduled to come back on Friday, but now he's come up with this fever that's going to set him back a bit. Uh, I, I mean, I hope not. You know, uh -huh. we've had a couple guys come up with, with fevers, and, and obviously it's, um, you know, what's going on in the world right now. Uh -huh. It's always a concern, but we've had a few guys that have, and it's pretty much kind of been a overnight 24 hour thing that's kind of run its course. We're hoping that's the case with Gary and that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was here yesterday doing his work. He did all his catching work, and um, so hopefully tomorrow he'll he'll be good if he gets the clean bill of health and is over the fever, and will come in and with the expectation that he'll he'll do his catch. He's going to catch Otto and, and get some live at bats probably Thursday, with the hope he'd be back in there Friday. So we'll see how long this thing lasts as as far as um, you know an illness goes, but. Um, Hopefully it, it doesn't set him back from, from getting back on the field. So you think his back is becoming a non-issue at this point? Uh, it's, you know, I feel like it was, you know, fairly minor from the start, and, it's, and it seems like it's improved every day. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful on that front, but, you know, hopefully get this little sick bug out of him. Now, you mentioned what's going on in the world, and th this new setup with the, the media and mm -hmm. the ball players and the managers and coaches, uh, do you think this could be something that would uh, just keep on going? You know, I don't know. I, you know, that's that's one of those above my pay grade. You know, uh -huh. that's that's uh, you know a global and major league baseball kind of call, and um, so I don't know where it's going. I haven't I haven't really been privy to that much information. I you know I I got word late last night and even this morning that that was the announcement, but 
honestly, I'm not privy to, to you know, what are any future steps are, that are being considered. You know, uh, the precautions that are taken by the, uh, you know, Major League Baseball, but is there anything that you've mentioned to the team to, to kind of watch out for what they want to do? Yeah, I mean, we, we got spoken to a few days ago by um, our doctor and kind of running through it and explaining it and, you know, obviously the, the importance of, you know, washing hands and, you know, how, how you know, the illness spreads and things like that. Mm-hmm. All really good, um, you know, reminders to guys to, you know, make sure you're 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 watching yourself and being careful and taking care of yourself and, and others right now um, to try and avoid avoid getting it. Well, I was just looking at our interview here, Aaron, and we are way past the six foot diameter, so we're good to go at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Paulie, welcome back. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, All right. Aaron. Thanks, Thanks once again.